crazy with the old guy. The whole world is crazy, man. Man, women today, women today are crazy, man. My wife, y'all don't know my wife, because my wife is crazy, man. You ever eat cheese doodles? Cheese doodles are crazy. Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is Talking Crazy 88 back again with another episode this Sunday morning, this Sunday afternoon, excuse me. I'm just getting ready for Selection Sunday. I'm still working on my house, uh, but I'm just taking a break. And I just need to do this video because I came across this article, right, on uh, CBS Philly 3, Channel 3. Um, it's a CBS article. Uh, article. Um, um, the title of that article is The Growing Network of African American Men Create Positive Dialogue Through uh, the BME Initiative. Now, the BME initiative, initiative is the Black Male Engagement Initiative. Um, it's an organization where uh, black men come meet with other black successful black men to share their trade stories um, and it's a good way for black men to network with one another and I started thinking about how um, how as black men we don't network with each other enough I mean we don't necessarily have to be active uh, entertainers, rappers, entertainers, or athletes in order to be successful. And that's what's being fed down our throats. Uh, there are black men who are in a wide variety of industries, and they are very successful in those industries. But we're not networking with the right type of people. We're not doing what white people are doing. We you, see white people; they understand the concept of networking. And when I was in college, that was never it was taught to me, but I was never I never took advantage of it. See, going out there and getting a college degree and and getting some bullshit ass job, you know, um, is good, but it's not good enough. Um. And the reason why I'm doing this video because I, I, I have to practice what I preach. And I've been doing, I've been going to networking events and getting business cards and, 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 and making contacts. Because that's what you need to do is to establish relationship with people who you're doing business with. Or who you're working with. Even on your job, even on your current position at your job, who do you... Who are you going out with after work? Are you going home after work? Or are you going to get together with a bunch of your or are you going to get together with a bunch of friends or people at work, coworkers at work and, and inviting your uh, your managers out for a couple of drinks at the bar at the local tavern? Are you doing that? Are you having lunch with some of your managers? Of course not. See, when you get this, when you, when you're not focusing on networking, and I and I have a problem, and, and believe me, um, had I started networking, learning the concept of networking while I, when I'm in college, I would be in a better position now than I was. I would be in a very very good position right now. You know, even at 39, I'm learning about. And I'm still, you're always learning and you're always uh, growing as a person. So that, never is, going, that is never going to, going to end. I hate to break that to you, people. You know, instead of just fucking around and bullshitting like I, was, like I did in college, you know, I would say the same thing to my, my, my if my, I had a son and I had a nephew or a baby cousin that's on his way to college, I would say, look, you in there to you not only in there to learn what the bullshit that they teaching you in that school, 
But you're not learning anything what they're not teaching you. You're not learning anything what they are trying to teach you. Is the concept of networking. Going to the career placement office. Getting an intern, summer internship. Unpaid internship in your career field. Writing your resume. Developing contacts. Volunteering. You know, all of that. All those suggestions that would have been instilled to me when I was younger, I would be in a better position. See, my parents didn't understand the concept of networking. Told me to just go ahead, go to college and get a job. Didn't tell you how to get a job. Didn't tell you that in this tough, that the economy is, is going to change and go into a recession. I might get a college degree in a recession where there is no jobs unless you know somebody in that particular industry. And as black men, it's very important that we network with the right type, right kind of people. Have you ever started de developing your network of attorneys? Medical doctors, business people in the, in the industry, community activists, politicians, political figures. Well, when I'm reading this article, and... It gave me some insight and some inspiration to do this video. Um, I remember in one of my videos I told I was I was telling black men to go ahead, y'all should network with one another on at your job, maybe even on you. Well, maybe not on YouTube, but <laughs> because there's there's so many idiots on there, but you have to be very wary of, but. But there are plenty of places where you can go to network. You've got to go to these networking events. Go volunteer so you can get to know people in your community. Uh, um, or especially if you're in college right now. Your classmates are, are the best resources. Who you're graduating with. Is, could be the best networking resources. So I, I would suggest that even if you don't like that person, you better get to know him because he may be able to help you out, help you out when, when, when you need a job or you need business contacts because he may be in a better position than you or she may be in a better position than you. See, if you had did what... See, I don't want you to do what I did was just fuck around, bullshit around, and chasing after pussy. Because pussy, let me tell you something, chasing some dumbass bitch around the country. Because that's what it got me. That bitch is out there sucking on another nigga's dick. And she ain't doing with her, nothing with her life. So fuck these bubblehead, buckethead bitches out there in, this, in school. You know, use, you know, you know, do what you got to do to get sex out of them. But leave them hoes alone. Don't try to marry them. Don't try to date. Don't do any of that shit. You work on your career first. Well, listen, I got to run. I got to get ready for Selection Sunday. This is Talking Crazy 88. And I'll be back with another video later. I am out of here, people.